Right, hi Thomas. Um, I've taken a look through your images, and um, there's good and bad points really. Um, the first point I want to make really, which I think is really important, is a lot of your images have got quite bad convergence. So all I mean is that your verticals in your image are bowing out slightly or converging in, and all that is is that your sensor is not parallel to the vertical lines in your image and that is really easy to correct really really simple um, I usually as a rule of thumb I always keep a couple of these um, little spirit level things that sit on your hot shoe bubble level things or whatever they're called and I mean they're so cheap and once I've set up on my tripod or whatever look at the little spirit level everything's no convergence perfect so that solves that issue that's not a major issue um, I'm not sure what software you're using or what technique you're using but it looks like HDR or some kind of you know exposure blending and all I'll say is when you do this kind of technique it does leave quite a lot of noise in the shadow areas and it sometimes looks a bit unnatural and it, it's not very clean crisp light it doesn't pop or um, you know look that professional is what I'd say and a few of the images look rather underexposed so I mean maybe in this room you'd want to bang some of these interior lights on bring up the uh, exposure inside yeah I don't know if you ever thought about using flash uh, as a fill for the interior if you just had a flash gun in there, um, you could shoot it through an umbrella or bounce it off like the join there. You could bounce it from behind the camera and it just chuck a lot of light into the scene. Uh, I just Luckily I had this on my computer. This is a shot taken um, just exposing for the window in this kitchen. All I've done differently, my settings are exactly the same, is I've got a cheap Yongnuo flash above my camera about here uh, fired through the umbrella and that's all I've done and you've got your exposure in one go and it's really nice soft scattered light shoots light everywhere so you just get this really natural looking light and bang you're done in one picture really minimal editing um, white balance is usually controlled quite well and it just saves a lot of time on your workflow now you will have to, if you haven't used the uh, flash to fill in for interior shots before, you will have to do a bit of research and stuff. But it's well worth doing. And there's, you know, we've got the internet, haven't we? So there's a lot of resources out there. And speaking of resources, I thought this website might be of a bit of use to you. It's photographyforrealestate.net. It is just a plethora of information. It is just packed full to the gills of information for real estate photographers and yeah it's it's consistently good it's what I'll say there is so much information it is well worth taking a look over there um, but going back to the question that you posted on photo.net um, I, I, I personally would never ever shoot wider than 17 16 millimeter for real estate uh, especially for you guys I'm assuming you're, Ameri you're in America you have a lot bigger houses than we do in uh, the UK and it can just sometimes look a little bit unnatural when you're shooting wider than that and uh, I know you was interested in getting an L lens and all I'll say is they are built to last you know I mean you're gonna be using it for hopefully a good few years I mean if you buy a good quality L lens it's gonna it'll last I mean you could drop them and everything and they're usually pretty uh, pretty okay uh, I won't go chucking it at a wall or anything like that <laughs> like but uh, yeah but as far as your images go uh, yeah you maybe want to lose a little bit of the ceiling on some of the pictures we don't necessarily need to see all that extra ceiling but um, yeah we could cut a bit out there but as far as composition goes I think you've got it nailed I think you're right on the money with your composition this is one of my favorite shots you've done um, yeah, but again, just 
concentrate on them verticals a bit because obviously we've got the camera um, a bit lower here so but again as we talked about earlier you could uh, get the little hot shoe thing or whatever to solve your convergence issues but yeah you've got the hardest part which I think is the hardest part of a lot of photography for people to get their head around is the composition and I think you've got it nailed you have, you have I think your composition's great so really just tweak a couple of things and you'll be uh, you'll be laughing but yeah drop us a line or whatever in your next couple of shoots and uh, I'd love to see you know some more of your work when you you know progressing with your photography and yeah I wish you all luck in the future thanks for watching